Hey, so I know it's been quite a while since my last video. I hope I didn't leave you hanging for too long. In the last tutorial, we left off with a couple of bugs. So if I open up our current game and we have our inventory system by pressing E and we can keep toggling it by pressing E and we are also able to pick up items from the ground by pressing Z when we're near it. And if we open up our inventory, we can see that we picked up the items correctly as it's in our inventory system. But now the issue is we try to drag it and put, put it in another slot and close it and open up the inventory again. It doesn't look right. There's an issue with this. And the reason this is happening is because we're not updating the inventory dictionary whenever we click and put an item in a different slot. Whenever we do any actions with our left clicks, it's not updating the inventory. And the inventory dictionary that I'm talking about is in the player inventory script. And it's right here. So we want to make sure that this dictionary is always up to date because this is what we use to load our inventory system. All right, to start fixing this, let's open up the inventory script. And here in the slot GUI input function, you can see it's actually quite long and it's kind of difficult to read. So what I'm gonna do is refactor it just a bit and I'll do that by splitting it up into separate functions. So I'll start off with the first portion of the logic. So if we're left clicking on an empty slot, so let's put this into a new function. I'll call it left click empty slot and I'll pass in the slot as well. And then I'll add this to a separate function down here. Now the next case is here. If we're clicking on a slot and it's a different item. So let's copy this. Go down here and let's create a new function called left click different item. And I'll call it right here. And I have to pass in the event and the slot. Now the next one is all of this. And this is essentially left click when it's the same item. And I'll pass in the slot. And let's create a function for this. All I'm doing is just moving the, the code into separate functions. And now the last one is right here when we're not holding an item at all. Left click, not holding. I'll pass in the slot. Okay, now it looks a bit easier to look at. Let's start with the left click empty slot. This means we are placing the holding item into the slot. So we want to update the inventory dictionary by adding an item to it. So we can do this by calling a function. Uh, let's just name it add item to empty slot. And we can pass in the slot. So this is calling the global script that we created before, the auto loaded script, player inventory. So let's go there. And let's create that function, add item to empty slot. And it takes in a slot class, but we don't have slot class defined as of now within this script. So let's go back to the inventory script up here 
And then let's just copy this and add it to the top of the script. So the script knows what a slot class is. Now, if we want to add an item to this inventory dictionary, we need to know the slot index. And I think slot does not contain that information. So let's just go to slot.gd. And yeah, we don't contain that information. So let's create a new variable called slot index. And we can initialize this variable in the inventory script when we're initializing the inventory. So we can do it here. Let me just modify this a little bit. So inventory slots got get children. And now we can do range of slots.size because I want to get the index number. And I'll rename this to be slot. No, I, because I is going to be a number. And then we'll replace this with slots at I. And then do the same to this part. And we can also set the slot index that we just created. So equals to I. Now we have it initialized and we can use it later on. Let's go back to player inventory. And all we got to do is add it to inventory at slot dot slot underscore index. And it's equal to the name. So slot dot item dot item name and slot dot item dot item quantity. And in that way, we're able to add this item to the empty slot and it's reflected into this dictionary. Oh, quick modification. I need to add the item parameter right here as well. Item class. And I also have to define it up here. And let's go back to inventory and pass that item as well. Let's do the left click when we are not holding anything. So right here. And this will pick up an item from the slot and add it to our holding item. So we want to remove this item from the slot. And to do that, let's just create a function, call it right here, player inventory remove underscore item, and we'll pass in the slot. And let's go back to player inventory script and let's define that function. And to remove it, it's fairly simple. We do inventory dot erase. And we have to pass in the key, which is the slot index. So we just completely delete it from the inventory dictionary. Let's go back to the inventory script. And we have two more functions to deal with. So the first one is left clicking when it's a different item from the holding item. So what we want to do is swap the items. And that's, we can reuse the two functions that we just created. So first, we want to remove the item from the slot. So let's update the player inventory and we'll pass in the slot. And then we want to add in the item, add item to empty slot, and which is the holding item. I also have to pass in slot. For the case when the holding item and the item in the slot is the same item, we try to add the item quantity. So let's go down here and we'll have to create a new function and we can call this function add item quantity. And what we're passing in is the slot, and in this case, holding item dot item quantity. Because in, in this case, we're just adding all of the item quantity within holding item. And in the other case, add item quantity. Now let's go implement this function down here, func add item quantity. And we are passing, we're passing in a slot and oops, slot class, and we're passing in a number. So quantity to add 
which is type of integer. And all we got to do is inventory, and then we access the slot index, which is the key. So slot dot slot underscore index. And then we want to modify the quantity uh, value, which is the second value in the array. So the item name is the first value, and the item quantity is second. So 0 and 1. So 1 will refer to item quantity. And we just want to add the quantity to add. Oh, I just noticed that there is a slight bug right here. It's not supposed to be slot dot because we're already passing an item right here. So we can get rid of the slot. And now before I try this out, I'm going to add more items to play around with to our inventory dictionary. So I'll just add slime potion. Make this 98. Now, if I click play, let's try this out. Press E to open, and let's rearrange some of the items. Press E to close, press E to open, and it's in the same spot that we left it as, which is good. So we fixed that bug. And if we pick up one slime potion, it was 98, now it's 99, which is good. But if we pick up one more, if you can see, it's 100 now. So this is another bug. We're not doing any checking whenever we're picking up items. We're not checking the maximum stack size. And if I close it, close it, and then check here, we have a to-do note, check if slot is full. So we're not doing that right now. So I'll quickly go over that right now as well. I'll paste in the code right here. So if I go line by line, first we find out the stack size by accessing the JSON data. Then we figure out the value for able to add by subtracting the item quantity in the slot from stack size. And if the able to add variable is greater than item quantity, which is the amount we want to add, then we just add the rest of item quantity to the slot and then we return, we finish. Else we add what we can and then we subtract that from item quantity. So there's a leftover amount, which will try to be found for another slot. So we have a for loop and I'll go to a different slot and try to figure if it can add it to there. Now, if we click play, so we have 98 right here. And if we pick up one, it should be 99. And if we pick up another, it's 99 still. And the one is added to the 45 here, which is expected. Thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you soon. Take care.